Oi oi lads, my name's Charlie Bryan and today we have gone out and bought 20 random steam keys off of G2A.com and we're going to be seeing what we're going to get from that. Um, I know my odds are against me. Um, more than likely we're going to be getting some flash games, some paint games, but um, you never know, we could get something really good. Um, so I'm going to be doing this every single day. I'm probably going to start by um, doing 20 today and then 10 every single day. Um, so I've already gone out and bought 20 like I said. Um, here's all the codes in front of me. So if I just start by going to the first one, um, this could be terrible. Um, go on Steam and redeem it. So if we just activate the product on Steam, go for all of this, put that code in and we'll see what we get. If I get any duplicates of games that I've already got, I'm going to be giving away um, that in the description. So if you'd like to be in with a chance of getting that, then just subscribe and put a comment down. Um, so the first one we got was Tiny Bridge Vat Rat Venture. So we'll have a quick look on the store just to see what that's about. See if we actually did get anything good. Uh, okay, take me to the store. So it was Rat Venture. Oh, so Tiny Bridge Rat Venture, wasn't it? Tiny Bridge Rat Adventure. So that goes apparently for five ninety nine. Um, it does look kind of like artistic. It doesn't look too bad. It's got mixed reviews, so it's not necessarily the best game in the world. Um, that's, I always like to see the comments, um, sometimes it's going to be really funny, so a good bridge building game for 20 cents. So once again I think we've got ripped off with that first game. So if we move on to the next one, we'll redeem that one and let's move along. We've got 20 of these so hopefully even if I get one good game I'll be happy but you just never know because there's so much stuff on Steam these days. There's games that should even really be there, there's been some really bad games in the last few years. So we get Legend of Mysteria. So we will go into the store and we will type that in and see, oh, because I've never heard of that game. Um, that's going to be the case with every single one of these games. Um, but Legend of Mysteria, so oh, so it's an RPG, is that the one? in say RPG at the end, but um, so that looks like a kind of like a game that's been made out of RPG Maker. Um, but it's got mostly positive reviews, um, doesn't really go for much in general, only goes for 79p anyway. But maybe that's why it's so good, because everyone says the plot's really good. Um, it's got really good reviews, so that one could be an interesting one to check out. If any of these games are good and they do look interesting, then I might make a separate video on it and be playing it. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next one anyway, let's keep this going. So let's go next. We could get anything, you know, we could get really good games that have just come out, or we could get most probably. Look at this one, Camera, camera Obscure. Let's have a look at that, Obscura, sorry. Camera Obscure, there we are. Once again, a really cheap game, um, so they only go for cheap mates anyway, but once again, it's got good reviews, um, so it's a bit like Fez they're saying. It does look alright, it's a platformer game. As curators have actually recommended it. Um, everyone said it's positive, it's quite a short game, so that one could be an interesting one to check out again, you know, these these not bad games that I'm getting, you know, I was expecting some games that have literally just come out of paint, but you know, those last two, the first one was garbage, those last two have been okay because they actually, they are going for cheap anyway, so um, they're not really old games. I didn't even see that what I got there, so I'm going to have to go and find it. My bad. Uh, what did I get there? Um, Legend of Mysteria, that was one that we just had. Let's have a look. This is going to be a nightmare finding this one now. Tiny Bridge was the one we got earlier. Um, there is Secret of Magia, so let's go and look at that one. Secret of Magia, let's have a look at this on the Steam store. Oh, can't spell today. Secret of Magia. You're going to come up. There we go. So once again, 79p, same sort of prices. This one's kind of similar to that second, that sort of Japanese sort of RPG maker game. This one does not look as good, unfortunately. But it did come out quite recently. Um, what are they saying about it? So they don't recommend it. Um, they were gifted the game and they still don't like it. So that one could be a terrible game. So let's move on to the next one. So we're on to the fifth key now. And we're just going to see. Hopefully we get something good. You know, one half decent game to walk away from this. Because I only spent, I think it's about a pound for about 10 keys. Um, so as long as we get one half decent game, I'm not too bothered. But the next one was Waveform Comp. So we'll type that in. Is it going to come up or am I just being silly? Let's just get rid of this because that's probably annoying a lot of people. Um, waveform comp. 
it's not coming up with anything unless I spout that wrong. Uh, it's just called waveform apparently. Um, so it's really cheap, you know, it's, it's well, 79p again, I think that's like the minimum anyway. Um, but that does actually look quite interesting, you look at the gameplay there, it looks kind of um, kind of different. I don't really understand what's going on there, but um, let's have a look. The review's saying that's good, you know, it's got a simple play style, but it's different gameplay, so that one could be one to test out later. So we've gone to the sixth key now. Still got quite a few to go, so you just never know what we might get. I agree to that, move on, it's activating it, so this one's called B Comp, so everyone's it's giving me games with comp on the end, I don't actually know if they've got that on the actual end, it doesn't actually come up on Steam once I put that comp bit in it, but this one's just called B then, was it Beep? That one's not coming up, so I'm going to go look on my library and see what it exactly was, so it was B something wasn't it, um, camera secure Beep, yeah, so it was Beep, sorry, my bad, yes, yeah, so let's go check out Beep. So this one was cheap again, you know, when I'm getting stuff that's great value. Oh dear, this looks like a paint game, you know, but a very positive review. So um, that's 2,800 reviews. So this could actually be, um, so it's kind of like a Yoshi sort of game. This could actually be, you know, one of them unsung sort of really good games. So um, so it's got minds of the former LucasArts and Bioware employees. So that actually does sound really good. So I'm quite excited to check that one out because they're saying everyone's saying it's really cheap, but it's actually a really good game. It's got quite a good artist artistic style there. So that could actually be one of the hidden gems there. So let's move on to our seventh key now. Let's keep this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move on, move on. Let's keep it going. Destiny Warriors. Sounds like sounds like something else. Final Fantasy kind of thing, but we'll find out. It's probably not going to be. Oh, it came up for a brief second there. Here we go. So 79p again. Mixed reviews. It just looks like three of the games I've already gotten already. You know, I think they're made in the same the same style. You can go and make that off your own back, and someone stuck that on Steam. I thought, you know, let's make a quick buck out of it. So once again, that's probably not going to be what I'm going to be playing. You know, they're not my sort of styles of games, and they're mixed reviews. So. That one's pretty bad, you know, 12 hour RPG, but I don't think I'm going to be sitting down and playing for that for 12 hours. So let's move on to the next key, the 8th key now. So we almost threw our first 10, and I can see that I'd probably say we had one or two cheap but good games, you know. They're not um, the greatest games in the world, but, you know, they're not they're not like some of these games. So the Hatman Shadow Wars, let's type that one in. The Hatman, that, that could be a series of games there. Oh my god, 19p. Are you kidding me? Whoa, this looks quite... It looks like a horror game here. That might actually be a horror game. Experience the scariest game of 2014. It's got good reviews as well. That looks like it could be a free game. You know, it should be a free game. But, it, you know, horror games are something different. Oh, it's because it's on sale at the moment, I see. So it was normally 79p, but you can pick it up for next to nothing anyway. So, but, you know, so if you want to go and buy that game, it's 20p at the moment, or 19p, sorry, so go, you know, go and buy that if you're into horror games, because it's got pretty good reviews there, so um, I might be checking that one out, but I can't promise anything. So moving on to our ninth key, I wouldn't say we're getting exactly our value for the money at the moment, but even if I do try out a few of these games, I think, you know, worth £2 I've spent, so I think I'm going to get my sort of excitement from that. Uh, so God Game, The Odyssey. I'm going to start expecting to see some duplicates in the midst. This one's also 20p, a 19p, sorry, and it's got a woman on the front. Looks not bad, but photoshopped. And this one, in my opinion, it's got positive reviews, but that just looks terrible. Look, it just, what's, what's actually going on there? You're just clicking on birds where you make them run away. But um, apparently it has strategy in it, but I don't know. It's a bit of a weird game, so no, probably not going to be one I'm checking out. But if we move on to our 10th key now. Oops, mate, need to make sure I copy and paste that properly. And let's activate the next one. Come on, the 10th key is with the f last key in the first set. This has got to be something good. Fragile ball. What is it? Marble Mayhem, Fragile ball. Uh, so this is kind of like a tilt game to get the ball to the hole kind of thing. You know, I think these have been done loads and loads of times before, but it's got 85 levels, you know, positive reviews. Does look kind of interesting, actually. You know, it doesn't. It's very simple, but it could be something to mess around with, have a bit of fun. Um, it's another Japanese game, so there's gonna be a lot of those on Steam. Um, but no, that might be something I might actually play around with. You know, it looks quite good. You know, as long as the mechanics are quite tight, 
Um, I don't mind trying that one out. So let's move on to our second sort of lot of keys. Um, and the first key from that bunch. And we'll see. Hopefully it's better than the first set. But like you said, it could just be, you know, copies of the first set. So polarity is the first one. So that's a 79 night game, so it's a bit more expensive this one. Um, so apparently they're saying it's almost as fun as Portal, you know. And that actually does look really good. It looks kind of like Portal, so you're moving a cube around. Um, it's got, it looks just like Portal in a way. Um, just maybe with a bit, you know, cheaper, less budget there. But it actually does, I think I've actually heard this one, you know. It's got loads of um, good reviews there. Uh, I might have actually seen this one before, you know. It's um, quite a popular game, that one. Um, wow. Someone said it was on sale for like 20p there, in, you know, when you convert that up. Um, so they got ripped off for paying the full price for that one. But, um, you know, it looks quite interesting. It looks kind of like Portal, so I might check that one out. Move on to the next one. Oh, if I can get to the redeem. I think I'll just try to redeem a wallet code there. That's not what I want. So if we just agree to that, put in the code. Out of somewhere. So it's not out of nowhere, it's out of somewhere. Oh, I'm putting zeros in that. <laughs> so out of somewhere, it's not giving me anything. Am I not searching on the store? I'm probably being an idiot there. Out of somewhere. No, nope. anything. Doesn't exist the game apparently, so we're going to have a look to see what it's actually called. Out there somewhere. Oh my god, I'm making some stupid mistakes. What? I don't know why I thought it was that. I got too excited, so it's... Um, what, I'll, I'll keep forgetting what it was called. What? Out there somewhere, somewhere. I'm, my mind's going completely blank. So out there somewhere, 79p again. Wow, so it's like a space sort of game, kind of inspired by K Story, which was a great sort of um, cheap game there, sort of low budget, but um, platforming. Once again, the levels did get quite hard. So another platforming game that I could try out, you know, it does look quite. Um, Indie, so it looks in a, in a good way, um, kind of like 16-bit kind of style. Um, so yeah, I, I might try that one out again. So we're not getting terrible, terrible games, you know, um, apart from the three Japanese games that were looked at when that were made in the RPG Maker, um, which I'm never even going to bother installing. Um, but yeah, if we move on to the next one now, Let's see what we get. Come on, give me what God game the Odyssey. So I've already got this game. Um, so if you'd like to, you know win that game, um, the code was in the um, video, so if you just go back and redeem it yourself, um, I'm sure that'll work for you, because I'll put it in the description anyway, um, but yeah, I'm not going to be wanting two of those, um, so yeah, no problem, go and take that one, so if we move on to the next one, next code, so that one's the giveaway code, the one above, so that key three of the second bunch, so if you want a free game, go ahead and store that one, because I don't think I'm even going to play that one anyway, it didn't seem too good, but, you know, it's a free game. I'm not sure if you get the um, Steam cards out of it, but you never know. Right, next one. I keep going ahead for some reason. Is that another, is that another, I think that's another duplicate there. Marble Mayhem. So that was the one with the tilting. Um, same thing as before. So if you want to have a chat, that actually looked pretty good. So if you want to, you know, go ahead and store that, or if it might be the code there, so I might have just used that code, so... Yep, yeah, go ahead and get that one. Activate a product on Steam. I agree. Let's have a look. Activating Steam. Saviors, this one's called. So let's have a look at this one on the... It's a different game, not a duplicate this time. So that's half decent, you know, something, you know, to hold on to. So Saviors, if I can spell, which I cannot. There's an extra U in there. Maybe not. Uh, it's because I'm on that. I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible, that's why I'm clicking the wrong things, but um, let's have a look if it comes up. Star Saviors, is that it? I'm going to assume that's it. Only 39p, uh, what's going on here? Uh, that looks like sort of a spaceship sort of game, um, doesn't look like my sort of thing at all, so wow, it's a, m a massive discount on there as well, so you can pick up these sort of free games for 39p. I think I might actually got Waveform earlier, so they're very similar. Maybe the same guy made the games, but next code. So, so far, as you can see, you know, you don't get the best of games out of this, but um, I like to, you know, take a chance. You never know, you might you might get um, a great game. So this is called Gun Rocket. If we just go onto the store, we'll see what everyone's saying about it. So Gun Rocket... 
as a free demo, you know, if you want to try out the game, you can't afford to pay the 79p. Um, so it's got multiplayer, I think. I don't really get what's going on from that. Maybe you should watch the trailer. Um, so maybe try and find the exit. I don't don't really know. It's one of those sort of games. Um, but they're saying it's really hard, but a good game uh, made by Satan there. So it could be one of those sort of challenging games that I might want to try out. Um, so let's move on to our seventh key of the second bunch. And we'll see exactly what I get. So let's go activate it. The Howler. Is it going to be a Howler of a game or is it going to be a, a pretty good game there? So it's like it's got a wolf on the front cover. Um, I actually really do like the art style, you know. It's got like, it's like hand drawn. Um, I think it uses gravity. It's got a flying air balloon around. Maybe use the winds. But that actually does look really interesting. Um, oh, even worth a buy play to you. Yeah, he's got a pretty good YouTube channel. Um, so if he recommends it, it must be pretty good. So I probably definitely will go out and check that game out. Um, if anything from this, I will definitely go check that one out. So that's really good. Let's move on to the next one. Sunblast. All these games have really sort of common names, you know. They're not... Except for that game, that game does look different, that Halo. I will be looking forward to checking that one out. So this is called Sunblast Starfighter. Don't say it's another spaceship thing. Uh, it's 3D, but it, it does look pretty terrible there. So you're trying to dodge in things. It does look pretty terrible, but, you know, it could make a funny video, so I might I might try that one out. Okay, almost done. Two more keys. Please give me something good. You know, I'm not expecting it, of course. I did say at the start, you know, likelihood is you're not going to get anything good, but um, you just never know. So let's put in the next code. Defy gravity, so this could be, a once again, another space sort of game. Just getting way too many of those. Um, Defy Gravity Extended. Oh, so it's an even longer game. It's extended. Um, let me guess. Is it a spaceship game? Uh, kind of based in space. Yeah. Does look kind of not so good though. It's an action platformer. It's kind of basic. Um, but it's very short. So I might be able to finish it in 20 minutes. Um, once again, I say it's challenging. So good reviews. So I can't, you know, I can't go wrong there. Everyone's been happy with their purchase. Even though they probably bought it for 20p or got it for free. So... Um, but even if I did buy all these games for 20p, it adds up to what I spent on it anyway, even though I wouldn't go out looking to buy that game, but I've got it now, so. The final key is Grey Fox. Is this going to be a good ending to this opening, or probably, most likely, a bad ending, but let's check it out anyway. So, Grey Fox RPG, once again, probably the fourth half, or fifth, yep, the same thing again, it's just a rehash of what I've already got before, and that's going to be the problem with this, you know, there's tons of these sort of RP you know, J Japanese RPGs on, on the actual market, Steam, on the Steam market, so you just got to be careful. Um, I'm sure there are really good ones, like, under, you know, there have been really good games that have come out. Undertale was really good, um, but, and that wasn't even Japanese, sorry, but they were in the same sort of style, but this one just doesn't look like my sort of game at all, you know, I'm not really into the whole Japanese sort of style. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll be making, uh, keeps, you know, I'll be making a video every day, um, unfortunately opening these keys, but we could eventually get something really good. Um, so if you'd like to go out and buy your own 10 keys, I'm going to leave my um, G2A link in the description, so go ahead and do that. But anyway, um, enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching the video.